California. It's the 25th annual Critics' Choice Awards. And now, a star on screen. A Critics' Choice winner. Please welcome your host, Mr. Tay Diggs. What's happening, y'all? Looking good. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 25th Annual Critics' Choice Awards. Happy New Year, happy new decade. It's the 20s, baby, we're live. We're live! Yes, yes, y'all. Look at all the incredibly talented people in this room and the critics. <laughs> of course, it's very generous of the Critics' Choice Association to throw this amazing party and celebration. We've got the biggest stars from film and television and from those streaming films that end up on television after playing in theaters for a couple of weeks. Did you get that? Okay. You know, when they asked me to host, I thought, great, this is an opportunity for me to dust off my dancing shoes. But they didn't want a big song and dance number, so I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. Ooh, I like a thick snap. Oh, oh. Critics' Choice. I like how that sounds. Hit me with it. Critics' oh, Choice. Why don't you guys say it with me? Critics', Critics choice. choice. Or don't. That's cool. I, I got it. Critics', Critics choice. choice. I'll let the girls help me out. Give me, ladies. Critics' Choice. We're here to say welcome to the... Critics choice. I'm back again hosting the Critics', Critics choice. choice. We're live at the CW at the Critics' Choice. choice. And you know I'm looking rather fly at the Critics' Choice. choice. It's our 25th year at the Critics' Choice. Lots and lots and lots of movie stars at the Critics' Choice. Laura Dern is looking fierce at the Critics' Choice. Lupita Nyong'o, where you at? The Critics' Choice. De Niro and Pacino at the Critics' Choice. Sterling K. Brown, Critics' Choice. I'm gonna walk down these stairs at the Critics' Choice. I'm gonna walk back up these stairs at the Critics' Choice. I can do a spacewalk if I want at the Critics' Choice. You know I'm making this up as I go along at the Critics' Don't, don't look at the teleprompter when I tell you that, Critics' Choice. Now I'm at the done of the opening. Hey, the Critics' Choice. I'm gonna walk my black butt off the stage at the Critics' Choice. Come on, girls, follow me. Get it, Critics' Choice. Drag the mics off the stage at the Critics' Choice. Hey, hey. for our first award. She has an Oscar, an Emmy, and two Critics' Choice Awards. Nominated again tonight for the limited series Modern Love, please welcome Anne Hathaway. Over the past 16 years, over 80% of the Critics' Choice winners in this category have gone on to win the Oscar. Pretty good odds. Let's take a look at this year's nominees. Robert De Niro, The Irishman. You, you just had a, a, a sheltered life in a way because you didn't see what I see, what I've been through. Leonardo DiCaprio, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's official, old buddy. Who has been. What are you talking about? What did that guy tell you? He told me the damn truth is what he told me. Adam Driver, Marriage Story. There are no other friends. This is the thing. He needs to know that I fought for him. Eddie Murphy, Dolomite is my name. This job at golf is supposed to be my temporary day job. Cut to a million years later, that's all I've got. Joaquin Phoenix, Joker. Adam Sandler, Uncut Gems. Doesn't that make you want to kill them? Doesn't that make you want to you for doubting me? Doesn't that make you want to step on Elton Brand's 
Nick. Antonio Banderas, Pain and Glory. ¿Tienes pareja ahora? Sí. ¿Y tú? No. And the critic's choice is Joaquin Phoenix for the Joker. Thanks to, uh, first, I, I'd like to thank the awards for, for going plant-based and um, trying to offset our carbon footprint. Um, I think it's really an amazing message. I deeply appreciate that. Uh, I need to thank my mom. Uh, uh, mom, you've always been my uh, greatest inspiration. And um, even when Self-pity led me astray. You never gave up on me and always believed in me, and I'm deeply appreciative of your support. Um, <clears throat> Scott Silver and Todd Phillips, you tricked us. You took a comic book character and used it to talk about childhood trauma, gun violence, isolation, and mental health. And Instead of inciting violence, you invited the audience in to see what it feels like when you're one of the forgotten. And I deeply appreciate that. Thank you all. He's a two-time nominee tonight for his comedy special, Lobby Baby, and his talk show, Late Night with Seth Meyers. Here's Seth Meyers. Did we, did we all enjoy our vegan meal? It's probably good the food critics weren't here. <laughs> Criticism is a key cog in the machinery of art, is something I think any time a critic says something nice about me. And when they don't, I fully understand that the pettiness of my reaction says far more about me than it does about you. The nominees tonight are... Florence Pugh, Little Women. Jennifer Lopez, Hustlers. Laura Dern, Merit Story. Margot Robbie, Bombshell. Scarlett Johansson, Jojo Rabbit. Zhao Shujen, The Farewell. And the critic's choice is... Laura Dern! Thank you so much to the Critics' Choice Association. What a beautiful room to be in. I'm a Santa Monica, California native, uh, so it means a lot to <laughs> receive an award here. Uh, to Noah Baumbach for, you know, the greatest gift in the world of all your movies and of this role to the most incredible cast of extraordinary actors and Adam and Scarlett at the helm. And I want to speak 
directly in this very interesting season of movies and television that we all get to sort of convene and celebrate this amazing work that everybody's done. I also have had the privilege to be in the company of some extraordinary actresses. And I just want to say thank you um, and how gorgeous to get to know you and your art to Jennifer, to Margo, to Zhao, Nai Nai, who we all wish was our grandmother, and to the, the most beautiful, incredible scene partners and now family members, Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh. Um, I love you. I share this with all of you and this whole ride. So thank you. Thank you for, for writers like Noah giving us incredible roles and Greta and others um, as women in film. We're so, so lucky. And wherever Nicole is, I, I think, can we just beg all these women to come to Monterey and we just all live together on Big Little Eyes. I want to act with everybody. <laughs> love you all. Thank you so much. We're just getting started. The room is filled with the biggest stars from film and television. And don't miss the special award for the legendary Eddie Murphy when the Critics' Choice Awards returns. Tonight's special is brought to you in part by AT&T. Ladies and gentlemen. It's a little tight, don't you think? So see you on night Just okay is not okay. Whether it's award show dresses or your network, that's why AT&T is building its 5G on America's best network. Hey, you've been watching Lowcast a lot, which is great, but we're This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Critics' Choice Awards. To celebrate, we'll be showing a few clips from the past shows like the one you just saw for Best Actress, a memorable tie between Sandra Bullock and Meryl Streep in 2009. For a quarter of a century, these awards have been determined by the members of the Critics' Choice Association. They are over 40, excuse me, there are over 400 of them today. When it first started, there were just 44, and I think some of those original founding members are here tonight. Let's please give it up for them. The rest of the critics, let's give them a hand. Now, from the CW series Nancy Drew, here are Kennedy McMahon and Scott Wolf. So on our 
show, Nancy Drew, it takes us an entire season to solve one mystery. Luckily, we will be able to solve the mystery of best supporting actress and actor in a comedy series in just a matter of moments. Here are the nominees. Best supporting actress and actor in a comedy series. Alex Borstein, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Darcy Carton, The Good Place. Sean Clifford, Fleabag. Betty Gilpin, Glow. Rita Moreno, One Day at a Time. Annie Murphy, Schitt's Creek. Molly Shannon, The Other Two. Andre Brower, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Anthony Kerrigan, Barry. William Jackson Harper, The Good Place. Daniel Levy, Schitt's Creek. Nico Santos, Superstore. Andrew Scott, Fleabag. Henry Winkler, Barry. And the critics' choices are Alex Borstein, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and Andrew Scott, Fleabag. Hello. Wow. Um, I should have peed. Um, thank you to the crew of Maisel. Thank you to the cast of Maisel. To Dan Palladino, Amy Sherman Palladino, my captors, my lovers. Um, this is a huge honor, but not a huge surprise. Because I was raised by two of the harshest critics in the world. One of them is here with me tonight, my father. My parents were able to, in a single breath, tell me that they loved me, that I was the greatest thing since sliced bread, but also that I ate too much bread, <laughs> and that I should stop eating so much bread, and that I was starting to look like bread. They, um, this is dedicated to you and mom. Uh, you are the greatest critics in the world. You, you fostered my quirks. You fueled my flames. You made me funny. You made me indefatigable. You made me have children, <laughs> which cracked me open and helped me to find my heart, which it turns out was you guys. So thank you. I love you. Thank you all. <laughs> I'm so glad uh, we have a we share a category and, and we share the, the same uh, tailor and the same uh, passion for red. Uh, thank you so much to the Critics' Choice. This is uh, genuinely amazing, and congratulations to the other uh, amazing actors in, in, in the category. We've had such a good time. Uh, we've been welcomed so warmly by everybody on these shores, so, so thank you. Um, uh, everybody's just been so friendly to us. So I want to thank uh, Kieran Culkin, who last week uh, said that uh, the cast of Succession and the cast of Fleabag should join together to make a super show called Sockbag. <laughs> uh, so thanks, Kieran. Uh, TV girl there. And, um, uh, I'd like to thank my, my family and my friends who are the, the engine and heart of, of my life. And I'd like to thank my agent, Lindy King, uh, Zach Kaplan and Ben Day at CAA. I'd like to thank Amazon, BBC, Two Brothers Pictures, Jenny Robbins, Sarah Hammond, our brilliant director, uh, Harry Bradbeer. Uh, we have an extraordinary cast, um, Sean Clifford, Brett Gelman, uh, the great Olivia Coleman, Bill Patterson, a whole host of uh, heroes. Um, uh, I've been working for a long time as, a, as an actor, and I've, I've discovered that you can really have the time of your life on, on shows that are of, of, of very poor quality, and you can, <laughs> and you can uh, 
you can make really very good work in atmospheres that are sort of tense and weird. And uh, so to make this show in an atmosphere that was so creative and um, wonderful and generous um, and for it to be honored and seen in this way is, is amazing. And that's down to the magic and generosity and talent of uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Uh, Phoebe, Phoebe you, you, are, you are just the real deal, both as, a, as, a, as an artist and a human being, and I thank you so much, and I love you so much. This is wonderful. Thank you. If you love action movies, you're at the right place. The award for best action movie is next on the Critics' Choice Awards. Any ghost sightings lately? I'm Nancy Drew. You better be careful. It's impossible to keep anything from you. I never think it's a bad guy. Nancy Drew. New episodes return this Wednesday at 9, 8 central, only on the CW. If you don't get there in time, we will lose 1,600 men. It's a soaring tribute to heroism. We need to keep moving! You keep hold of me! Come on! And audiences give it an A. 1917, rated R. Now only at Domino's for $7.99 each, you can carry out all five crust options with any three toppings. Yeah, I don't do gluten. Right. Try adding gluten-free crust to the invite list. Or carry out any of our five crusts for just $7.99 every day, only at Domino's. He's a systems quarterback. Where's the truck? What? Parked it right there. What did I tell you, boys? Tonight we eat like kings! <laughs> You're a genius, Gordon! Brake! Hit the brake! Uh, which one's the brake? Stop! 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 What's happening? What? There's a half a cheesesteak back there! With GEICO, the savings keep on going. Just like this sequel. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I got the cheese steak! Mucinex, cold and flu, all in one. Fights. Oh, no, 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 no. Sore throat, fever, cough. One. Fights. Oh, no, 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 no. Sore throat, fever, cough, sinus pressure, chest congestion, sinus congestion, congestion. measles, and body pain. All in one. Did you really need the caps lock? Mucinex, cold and flu, all in one. Join me for a show that's sure to get you jumping up and down, 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 down. down, down. down. The CW Dog Honors, Wednesday at 8, only on The CW. You can win an iPad when you watch TV's number one daily viral video show. Tune in to Right This Minute, starting Monday at 2.30 p.m. on PIX11, New York's very own. But what we lack in the cautious restraint of age, we make up for with the gravel-pounding ambition of youth. The control and precision of torque vector and corner control. The enhanced agility of our center locking differential. Available on Kia's tough and ready lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs. Doors. Sometimes they're closed because of where you're from. Or what you look like. But not here. At Mercy College, our doors are always open. Because one door can lead to another. And another. And another. Mercy College, open to whoever you are. Many times, on my first call with a client after a car crash, they tell me they're not the type of person who sues. If you feel that same way, here are two very important things you need to know. First, many times when you hire our law firm, we can resolve your claim without suing anyone. And second, if you do have to sue someone, you're really suing their insurance company. Their insurance company is responsible for paying the claim and defense. We rarely, if ever, bring claims against people without insurance. Now you know. Morgan & Morgan, for the people.com. Aren't you lucky you get an extra hour of us? Glad to have you join the team. Minus all's here too. <laughs> oh my God, we just really barged late. in. Oh my goodness. Hey. This is before Fortnite. There's something called hopscotch. Where's Dan? 
Where's dad? <laughs> In designer suit, shoes. This is the epitome of going nowhere fast. This is a party of five right here. We appreciate you being here watching today. The PIX11 Morning News, now till 10 a.m. This is Court TV. The network designed for true crime. Not yet, he had to shoot to defend himself. Something was not right here. We are bringing you gavel to gavel coverage. You'll see and hear all the evidence. We heard 911 calls. I need help now. The truth will always prevail. This is Court TV. Your front row seat to justice. Watch Court TV over the air on Channel 11.3 and Fios 490. From the global phenomenon. Hello, Daily Mail TV. Hey, Daily Mail TV. It's a whole new season. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> the exclusive stories that you won't see anywhere else. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the Daily Mail. Daily Mail TV. Y'all got it going on. Everybody has their own stories. Ours just happen to sometimes be splashed across the front page of the Daily Mail. Emmy Award winning Daily Mail TV. Weekdays at 3. I'm here, standing with Robert De Niro. I just wanted to say that. Next is two-time Critics' Choice nominee, Kate Beckinsale. They thrill us, they raise our heart rates, they keep us on the edge of our seats, and if they're really good, they make us lose control of our bladder a tiny bit. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyway, here are the nominees. Best action movie. Avengers Endgame. Avengers! Assemble. 1917. Ford versus Ferrari. You ready? I was born ready, Mr. Shelby. Hit it. John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. Spider-Man, far from home. You don't want any part of this. And the critic's choice is Avengers Endgame. Accepting on behalf of Avengers Endgame is the entire cast. Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Hemsworth, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, Don Cheadle, Paul Rudd, Benedict Cumberbatch, Chadwick Boseman, Brie Larson, Tom Holland, Zoe Saldana, Evangeline Lilly. That's too many people. That's far too many people. I'm going to accept on their behalf. Thank you very much. <laughs> Coming up, Lucy Hale and Ashley Murray from the CW's Katie Keene. Plus, Eddie Murphy gets the Lifetime Achievement Award. And Kay Diggs quizzes the stars as the Critics' Choice Awards continues. Great riches will find you when Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Wow, thanks, Oltar. How can I ever repay you? Maybe you could free Zoltar? Uh -huh. Thanks, lady. Taxi! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. Strategize, revitalize, energize. Any ideas? We were... You know, in my opinion, these two Dunkin' Bagels with cream cheese spread for $4 are the best deal ever. Good. Not 100% related. I like bagels. Me too. You always have the best ideas. Write it down. 
He put the spread? He missed the spread. Get two for two egg and cheese wraps, two for four bagels with cream cheese spread, and two for five bacon, egg, and cheese croissants with Dunkin' Go-To's. America runs on Dunkin'. Technology does great things for people, like make us feel better. It gives us a helping hand when all we have are feet. Technology can make our beds without us. Go on, technology. Set the mood. We even have CPAs at our fingertips who will review our taxes with us before we file. I checked your return, and you're good to go. Great, thanks. People can be good at anything. Yes, even taxes. Intuit TurboTax. I wrote this a long time ago. I don't know how old I was. I hope someday I will be on a real football team. I'm Katie Sowers, offensive assistant coach for the San Francisco 49ers. Whoa, whoa, hold it. I'm not just here to be the token female. I'm here to help us win. The Surface Pro helps me get what's in my head and get it out onto the field. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I would want to tell this little girl to keep pushing yourself. Your dream's coming. Let's go. Let's run it again. Run it again. Let's go. How the hell did Tyrone get out? Oh, I had this man set up and arrested. I can't just live my life looking over my shoulder. Coop will be dead before my body even cold. Ever since he got out, Tyrone has been hopping up everywhere I'm at. Look, I'm gonna handle Tyrone in the streets. All American. New episodes return Monday, January 20th. Only on The CW. Okay, as I said earlier, it's the 25th anniversary of the Critics' Choice Awards, so it's time to play Critics' Choice at 25 Movie Trivia. You guys ready? Okay. In what U.S. city did the movie Chicago take place? Boston? <laughs> New York? No, California. Aren't they cute? <laughs> it's Chicago. Yes. High five it out. All right, moving quite along. Next question, next question. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, it's you. Yep. You snuck up from behind. Hi, Jayla. Hi, Jayla. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. Second question. What was the character's name portrayed by actor Tom Cruise in the 1996 motion picture Jerry Maguire. <laughs> Take your time. Wait, what? <laughs> what was the character's name I'm for? Tom Cruise, Jerry Maguire. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so... and I like how and you can dance too. Next, moving right along. All right. There you are. I see you, black man. You like, but you count, brother. Come on. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, this is a two-part... Does it mean anything that I knew the answer to the previous two questions? <laughs> You're pretty, too. It's a two-part question. I need both answers, so concentrate. What was the last name and the rank of the characters played by Tom Hanks? This is, a, this is, this, this is, this is from the Best Picture winner, Saving Private Ryan. Let me repeat the question. <laughs> this is concerning the 1998 Best Picture winner, Saving Private Ryan. It's a two-part question. I need both answers. <laughs> what was the last name and the rank of the character played by Tom Hanks? <laughs> the clock is ticking. Rich white people are waiting. <laughs> It was Miller, Captain John... Ca Captain John Miller! <laughs> All right. Here from the CW's upcoming Riverdale spinoff series, Katie Keene are Lucy Hale and Ashley Murray. of presenting the Critics' Choice Awards for Best Supporting Actress and Actor in a Drama Series. Yes, and we are presenting both awards simultaneously. Wow. 
Two actors accepting awards on the stage at the same time. It's never been done before. Actually, you know, Scott Wolf and Kennedy, they literally just did it no. a earlier. <laughs> All right, here are the nominees. Best Supporting Actress and Actor in a Drama Series. Helena Bonham Carter, The Crown. Gwendolyn Christie, Game of Thrones. Laura Dern, Big Little Lies. Audra McDonald, The Good Fight. Jean Smart, Watchmen. Meryl Streep, Big Little Lies. Susan Kalechi Watson, This Is Us. Asante Black, This Is Us. Billy Crudup, The Morning Show. Asia Kate Dillon, Billions. Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones. Justin Hartley, This Is Us. Delroy Lindo, The Good Fight. Tim Blake Nelson, Watchmen. All right, and the critics' choices are... Jean Smart and Watchmen. 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 Oh, Billy, Billy screwed, screwed up the morning the show. Morning show. so much this this means so much um, for a variety of reasons I have some notes I'll try not to use them but I, I'm so afraid of leaving somebody out but first of all thank you to the Critics Association this is especially flattering not only the field of incredible nominees but also to you folks are the ones who see everything so this is particularly um, meaningful and Damon Lindelof I I don't know what to say you I mean, you, you took a piece of extraordinary science fiction and you married it to historical fact, a part of our history that was so um, shocking and even more shocking because a lot of us had no idea that it had even taken place. So thank you so much. And our amazing producers, Nikki and Tom and Joe and HBO, thank you so much for your incredible support of this show. And our, my cast, oh my God, Regina King, I wish you were here. She, our fearless leader, Regina, and uh, Jeremy Irons, Tim Blake Nelson, I mean, and Francis and Jimmy, and oh my God, Dustin Ingram, and what an amazing time. And I just want to thank my representatives as well, the brilliant agent, uh, Scott Henderson at WME, and, and uh, everybody at Untitled Entertainment, especially Danielle Thomas, and Richard Gilliland, I love you and thank you for holding down the fort while I commuted from Atlanta. I couldn't have done it without you. And Stephen Williams, the director, my new favorite director in the whole world. Thank you, Stephen. Definitely couldn't have done it without you. And Bonnie, Connor, I love you. And uh, everybody in Atlanta on the crew, this is for you. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is, uh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Do class. Wow. This is uh, really an incredible um, experience for me, so thank you. I, to have the privilege to work on something like this, a character like this that people respond to, uh, is really rare, and uh, I'm just overwhelmed, and so thanks to the critics, and congratulations to my fellow nominees, and all the people who aren't nominated, who do their work in dark corners all across the world, who are badasses for trying to do something wicked, but um, Carrie Aaron, she wrote a killer part, and um, yeah, Mimi Leader directed the hell out of it, and um, I, I'm just in, indebted to Apple and Michael Allenberg, and uh, especially Jen and Reese for having the ambition to produce something um, that was so absurdly ambitious in the way that they wanted to do it and for including me. Uh, so thanks uh, to them and to Jimmy and Aline and uh, Simon and, um, and my son and uh, my friends and family and Naomi and everybody. So thanks a lot.
Okay, if you look around, you'll see that we are serving food to our guests right now. Critics' Choice has partnered up with The Counter and Baja Fresh to provide delicious plant-based burgers and vegetarian burritos to help shine a light on issues of sustainability and climate change. We'll be back with more awards right after this short break. Climate change. We'll be back with more awards right after this short break. Eat up, baby. Hey, you've been watching Low. Invisalign treatment uses smart track technology. It moves teeth more comfortably and predictably than ordinary aligners. So I could create custom treatment plans for every smile. Cats will do anything for the irresistible taste of Temptation's treats. What are you doing? Oh, hey, check this out. Temptations, all it takes is a shake. When cravings come on strong, be stronger with new Nicorette coated ice mint layered with flavor. It's the first and only coated nicotine lozenge for an amazing taste that outlasts your craving. New Nicorette ice mint. If Alexis is involved, I'm guessing it has to do with money. That is the gold digger calling the kettle black. Dynasty. New episodes return this Friday at 9, 8 central. Next, Mel, a wife at the grips of a shopping addiction. Are you ready to cut these things up? Monday at 10 on PIX11, New York's very own. When I go to Stop and Shop, I can cross off everything that's on my list. Because this is my one-stop shop, I can get everything in one place and get a little bit more of my life back. Go on! Think of the pineapple! Yeah, go on, Joey! How about we, you know, build something that stays on top of the water to get there and to get back? We could all go. No. Okay. Uh, you can do it. Joey, Joey, Joey. Ah, Joey. Eventually somebody realizes there's a better way to do things, like a new kind of mobile service with the fastest overall speeds. It's a better way to mobile. It's Spectrum Mobile. There are a lot of ways to offer hope. Our way is by donating a portion of every Hyundai sold to Hyundai Hope on Wheels to help find a cure for childhood cancer. So families can come home for good. Hope is our greatest feature, and it comes standard on every Hyundai. We realized he was dyslexic last year, and when we found out about the school opening, we couldn't have been more thrilled. A lot of this school started from parents of kids that went through the system and were dyslexic. It wasn't about politics, it wasn't about like differing beliefs, it was about coming up with a common sense solution for a need that we had in this community. Is it surprising to you this is the first one with such a need out there? Yes. I can't believe it took this long. Because at the end of the day, like, those are our kids. Marvin Scott, covering America's defining moments from a New York point of view. Greta Van Susskind. Delivering no-nonsense journalism and holding the powerful accountable. Now, two news legends back-to-back -back, like no other Sunday talk shows. News Close-Up with Marvin Scott. Then, the all-new Full Court Press with Greta Van Susskind. Sunday morning starting at 6.30 on PIX11. New York's very own. All politics are local. Jerry, Jerry. 
this far. Order in the court. Judge Jerry is holding court. You think this robe looks too big on me? And laying down the law. You're under oath now. Be careful. With a docket of real cases. Banging at the door like a crazy man. I have evidence right here. You're so lying. They will leave you pleading for more. You have cellmates? It's this long story. That's another show. Consider yourself served. Where do we find our guests? Judge Jerry. Weekdays at 2 on Pix11. This week at Stop and Shop, I round roasts are $2.99 per pound. Stop and Shop romaine hearts are two for $5. And selected varieties of Dan and Greek yogurt are 88 cents each. More on your list for less. Stop and Shop. You've got it. Hey, I'm backstage at the Critics' Choice Awards. Speaking with Best Supporting Actress winner, Laura Dern. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. And I really loved your speech. Uh, how do you mentally get prepared for a night like this? Uh, you know, I bring my amazing daughter with me. Oh, okay. I sit with Ted Sarandos from Netflix, who helps Noah make and have the autonomy to make the movies he wants to make. And, yes, you know, yes. just try to have a lovely time with my friends. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> You're getting pretty good at winning these awards. Uh, do you have any advice for some of the other nominees? To remember our good fortune, just to have jobs we love. I mean, we're so blessed in that. This is all just ridiculous, do hear silly, that? fun stuff. Do you hear that? We Excellent. We do what we love. So may everyone find their passion and follow it in life. You heard it here first. Laura Dern, <laughs> thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. Mwah. Lovely to see you. Take care. And congratulations. Thank well, thank you. <laughs> All right, back to the show and off. They are nominated tonight for Best Talk Show. Here are Deez is Nice and The Kid Mero. What's going on? got no love for Deez and Mero? That's a source joke. <laughs> Yo, we are here to present Best Animated Feature. That's right, but let's be real. Let's keep it real. These are just long-ass cartoons. True, true. Which we love to watch. Especially when we're super high. True, nothing but facts. Here are the nominees. Best Animated Feature. Abominable. Frozen 2. How to Train Your Dragon. The Hidden World. I Lost My Body, Missing Link, Toy Story 4. Who y'all think one? And the critic's choice is... Uh, the Brandon Straw, shout out to the BX. Toy, Toy Story 4! Four. Four. Accepting on behalf of Toy Story 4 is director Josh Cooley. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so lucky to um, represent the amazing artists up at Pixar that uh, deserve this award. And um, we have an amazing cast, an amazing crew. Thank you, Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Annie Potts, uh, Tony Hale, and Aaron, I love you. I just want to thank everybody at Pixar, uh, Pete Docter, Jim Morris, uh, my producing partner, Jonas Rivera, and our incredible writers, Stephanie Folsom and Andrew Stanton. To my wife Becky and everybody watching at home, love you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Great. Thank you. The best actors and actresses in a drama series are next, and later on, the Lifetime Achievement Award for Eddie Murphy. All that and more when the Critics' Choice Awards returns. Come one, come all. Prepare to make your Taco Bell cravings come true with mouth-watering acts like the three bold flavors of the Double Stack Taco. A taco so melty, yet crunchy. It's a show like you've never tasted before. All for just one dollar each. The one dollar Double Stack Tacos on the Cravings Value Menu. Value that never ceases to amaze. This is Charlie not coughing because he took Delsum 12 hour. And this is Charlie still not coughing while trying his hardest not to wake Zeus. Delsum 12 hour. 
Nothing lasts longer for powerful cough relief. Oh, hi, Samantha. You look more like a Heather. Do you ever get that? It's nice to finally meet you in person. You're Pete Nokia. Oh, the pick? That was actually a professional headshot? Oh. I'm sure that's it. I, uh, I think I lost a few pounds recently, too. I'm actually doing a juice cleanse. Wait, you don't... Oh. <sighs> With Geico, the savings keep on going. Just like this sequel. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome to our Lipton Tea Factory. Where these sun-soaked tea leaves are picked at the peak of freshness for a naturally smooth taste. And drinking Lipton every day can help support a healthy heart. The new iPhone 11 runs on Straight Talk without a contract and a plan that's up to half the cost of big carriers. With the new ultra-wide camera, your shareable moments are ultra-shareable. Because you're on a network that's more than just big talk. The new iPhone 11. Now get the unlimited plan for just 45 bucks a month on America's best 4G LTE networks. Straight Talk Wireless only at Walmart. It's impossible to keep anything from you. Not everything's a bad guy. Nancy Drew. New episodes return Wednesday at 9, 8 central. Okay, one is a Critics' Choice winner nominated tonight for The Unicorn, and the other is a two-time Emmy-winning host of The Talking Dead. Please welcome Walton Goggins and Chris Hardwick. Two guys in velvet. All right, it's very important. Um, oh, just last weekend, wow. I don't know if you guys saw this, at an excavation site outside of Athens, Greece, archaeologists discovered the earliest written review of a theatrical production. That's true. Yeah, yeah, and uh, as one can imagine, this extraordinary find has the theatrical historian community all aflutter, and we are thrilled for the first time ever to read it to you now. Chris, yeah. do you have it? I, coincidentally, you I have do. It. You have it, it is right here. Here we awesome. go. It's the first critic thing, okay, ever. They say that incest is best. Well, not last night at the Pantheon Annex. For those who were unlucky enough to sit through Sophocles' latest bomb, Oedipus Rex, I'm sure you wish you could have ripped out your own eyes instead of watching this derivative piece of tripe. Okay, all right, and, and the review continues. All right, check this out. Uh, the real tragedy is not that the Pantheon enforces a strict no refund policy. So kiss your mother and those three drachma Goodbye. Written by Leonard Maltonius. Okay, that was the best we could do. That's the best we could do. No, you gotta uh, own it, man. It's we gotta own it. We own it. own it. We own it. We're uh, in an airplane hangar in award season, the only season LA has. That's right. Uh, um, now, here are the nominees for Best Actor in a Drama Series. Here we go. Best Actor in a Drama Series. Sterling K. Brown, This Is Us. I refuse to be blamed for the fact that you had your awakening 20 years too late. Mike Coulter, evil. They pretend to be normal, but their real pursuit is... evil. Paul Giamatti, billions. Maybe you feel just a little more comfortable in your own skin, as I finally do in mine. Kit Harrington, Game of Thrones. You want to worry about who holds what title? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Freddie Highmore, The Good Doctor. I spent the whole evening doing unnatural things to make her happy, and I have no idea if she was happy, and I know I wasn't happy. Tobias Menzies, The Crown. Stroden. What man? What kind? Billy Porter. Pose. I don't want to cut my casket with any regrets. Nothing left undone or unsaid. Jeremy Strong, Succession. Right. I mean, yeah? Yeah. All right. And the critic's choice is... Jeremy Strong for Succession!
Uh, Kieran, Kieran Culkin and Nick Braun told me they, they would Venmo me a hundred bucks each if I came up here and started rapping. And uh, <laughs> my wife just told me that it, that was decidedly not a good idea. And so, uh, oh, man. Um, Yeah, I, you know, all I've ever wanted my whole life was was to have a chance to work as an actor uh, on this level, have a chance to do work that might uh, be meaningful to basically the people in this room. Uh, so this feels slightly miraculous to me uh, to be here, um, and 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 it means so much. And thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank Jesse Armstrong for writing me a role that calls on, yeah, every, every ounce of heart and nerve and sinew that I can muster. Uh, I want to thank Adam McKay, Francine, HBO, Mark Mylod for being everything an actor can hope for in a director. And uh, I want to thank my wife, Emma. Thank you for transforming my life. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs>